first Stuart of England, son of one of the most scandalous monarchs in Scotland. He was the monarch of three kingdoms, and famously said, the state of monarchy is the supremest thing upon earth. He had two names, James IV, King of Scotland, and James I, the King of Great Britain and Ireland. James was born in 1566 to Mary Queen of Scots and Henry Stuart. Their marriage, however, was not a happy one. Henry died when James was young, and many suspected foul play. Stuart died under mysterious circumstances, and the people of Scotland began to suspect that Mary had something to do with it. The people of Scotland eventually dethroned Mary and drove her out of the country. She fled to England, where she was put under house arrest for 19 years. She was accused of treason by Queen Elizabeth I, her cousin, and executed. This had a resounding effect on James. He grew up parentless, raised by his advisors. He was raised a Protestant, and they implemented in him the belief in divine right. He was also an incredibly intelligent child, but you have to think that he was also an incredibly sad child. In 1589, James married Anne of Denmark. They had three children. Their youngest, Charles, would eventually succeed him. In 1603, Queen Elizabeth I died childless. She made her closest relative, James, the heir to the British throne. He was about to become King of England. Have you ever wanted to be a king? Well, now you can with a King James Authorized Holy Bible. It only takes 70 hours to read, and it contains over 12,143 English words. This way, you can expand your vocabulary and practice for the SAT. So buy your King James Authorized Holy Bible today. James was warmly greeted by the people of England, but this honeymoon phase won't last. James had a constant issue of clashing with Parliament, mainly because of his extravagant spending sprees and the fact that he ignored the problems brought up by the nobility. James believed not only that he had been chosen by God, but that he should be treated as one, no exceptions whatsoever. James fiercely believed in divine right and argued over how the government should be run. Parliament thought that the king should always rule with them, but James thought that the king should have supreme rule. The state of monarchy is not only the supremest thing upon earth, for kings are not only God's lieutenants upon earth and sit upon God's throne, but even by God himself they are called gods. Kings are also compared to the fathers of families. I will not be content that my power will be disputed upon, but I shall ever be willing to make the reason appear of all my doings and rule my actions according to my laws. In 1605, Guy Fawkes and four other Catholics were plotting to blow up the House of Lords the day that James was going to initiate Parliament, which only increased his paranoia. They were eventually executed, but a surge of anti-Catholic beliefs dominated England. The effect of the Guy Fawkes plot gave James a reprieve from the country's anger for a while, but soon, a group of Anglicans who called themselves Puritans demanded that James move the church further away from the Catholic way of worship. James thought the Puritans were excessive in their demands and simply ignored their pleas. Angered, some Puritans left to start a new life in the English colonies. Like his predecessor, Elizabeth I, James dodged many of the important issues that faced England. However, James had a passion for the arts. He ruled during the Golden Age of Poetry, and William Shakespeare's acting troupe performed for him many times. The relationship with the Parliament was constantly stretched thin. James constantly spent money on decorations and awarded titles to bribe for loyalty. One of the most controversial examples was the position of George Villiers, his close advisor, who later on was awarded with the position of Duke of Buckingham. When he was about 50, James suffered from arthritis and often drank heavily. He eventually died from a stroke in Thiebel's house, with George Villiers by his side.
Oh, it's good. Oh, okay. Can you eat all of Okay, this is Okay. <laughs> I forgot. Slow. Slow. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I told him he could get it in one. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I've tried to cut these.